I recently put up a video about Ozempic and the other semi-glutide medications out there. I weighed the pros and cons. The pros being if you have type 2 diabetes or if you're overweight or at risk of heart disease or stroke, this medication could save your life. And then I also talked about the cons. If you're just trying to lose a little weight, Ozempic may not be the right choice for you. And I mentioned this in that other video that there are two main reasons you should rethink or reconsider taking Ozempic. One would be the risk of muscle loss and two is you're gonna gain the weight back. But there's something out there that is all natural and research backed and proven to do a lot of the same things that Ozempic does. It is called apple cider vinegar. Welcome to Boom 50 Fitness. My name's Regan, and this is your channel for all things health and fitness in your 50s and beyond. As always, let me start by saying I am not a doctor. My degree is in exercise physiology with a strong emphasis on nutrition, soon to be stronger, but I'll save that for another video. But I just want you to make sure if you want to try any of the things that I suggest on this channel, it is always a great idea to check with your doctor first. There has been a lot of buzz about apple cider vinegar for a long time now, but I feel like now that there's even more buzz around Ozempic, it's created even more buzz around apple cider vinegar. For a long time, apple cider vinegar has been a really popular home remedy, but as of lately, we're hearing about it even more. People have used it for centuries in home cooking and in natural medicine and a lot of research shows that it does have various health properties. Evidence has shown that it can aid in weight loss, it can lower cholesterol, it can reduce blood sugar levels, and it can actually improve the symptoms of diabetes. But what is apple cider vinegar? Apple cider vinegar is a fermented juice of crushed apples. It contains acetic acid and nutrients such as B vitamins and vitamin C. I'm not going to go over all the ways that apple cider vinegar may be beneficial for you, but I am going to talk about how it may aid in weight loss because I think that's why you're here. Studies have shown that just like Ozempic, apple cider vinegar can increase the feeling of fullness, which obviously can lead to eating fewer calories and weight loss. Many studies have shown that taking apple cider vinegar before a meal speeds up your satiety, that feeling of being satisfied or full. This study not only showed that people lost weight, but that they decreased their belly fat. Now that is exciting. But the big difference between a drug like Ozempic or taking something all natural like apple cider vinegar is the apple cider vinegar can just be a new lifestyle habit that you adopt. And Ozempic, if you want to keep the weight off, you're going to have to stay on it. And who wants to be taking meds for the rest of your life if you don't need to? So along with diet and exercise, apple cider vinegar might be something you want to consider adding in to your health journey. That said, simply adding apple cider vinegar to what you're currently doing may not make any noticeable difference. Long-term fat loss is created by adopting healthy lifestyle habits, mostly diet and exercise. So if you're doing all the right things and you're not seeing the fat loss that you would like to, maybe give apple cider vinegar a shot. It will promote satiety, but you still need to eat consciously. It may also lower your blood sugar and reduce your insulin, which even if you're not a diabetic, that is a good thing. So what is the recommended dosage and how do you use it? A great way to incorporate it into your diet is just to use it when you're cooking, or you can make a salad dressing with it, or the way I like to do it is just first thing in the morning, I take one tablespoon, I add it to some water, and I just gulp it down. And I'm not gonna lie, it tastes like crap. Most doctors will recommend an organic, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. There's a brand name Bragg that seems to be the most popular one on the market, and that's the one I take. I take a tablespoon of it, I add it to a glass of water, and I just drink it on down. 
And if you decide to start taking it to aid in your fat loss, I would start with the same thing, just one tablespoon in the morning and then see how your body reacts to it. And then what you could do is add a tablespoon before your lunch and also before your dinner. But don't dive into that too quickly. You wanna see how your body reacts to just one tablespoon. If you decide to take a deeper dive into apple cider vinegar and the possible health benefits, you're gonna find all sorts of information out there. Lots of claims that it boosts energy and treats diseases, but not all of it is backed by science. But when it comes to fat loss, reducing cholesterol, lowering blood sugar levels, and improving diabetes symptoms, the research is there. And it is safe to take, but make sure you take it in moderation. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'd love to know if you take apple cider vinegar, or if you've considered taking it, or if after watching this video, you've decided to try it. Check with your doctor first and leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Regan and this is Boom 50 Fitness, your new BFF. I will see you next Thursday.